the bark of a million years, a reference to one of the solar barks that were used as vessels by the sun god Ra in ancient Kemet mythology. And during the day, Ra was said to use the vessel that was called Manjet, or the bolt of a million years, and the vessel he used during the night was called Mesketet. Ra was said to travel through the sky on the barge, providing light to the world, and each twelfth of his journey formed one of the twelve comedic hours of the day, each overseen by a protective deity. Ra then rode the bark through the underworld, with each hour of the night considered a gate, overseen by twelve more protective deities. Passing through all of these while fending off various destructive monsters, Ra appeared each day in the eastern sky. He is said to travel across the sky in the Majet Bark through the hours of the day and switch to the Masektet Barge to descend into the underworld for the hours of the night. The process of Ra upon the Majet was sometimes conceived of as his daily growth, decline, death, and resurrection, as it appears in the symbolism of Kemetic and Egyptian mortuary texts. But the underworld journey was the more perilous of the two, and he needed the protection of the other deities who were always proud to claim their role in protecting Ra on his nightly journey. The first gate was deified by Saya, who was the who was the deification of perception and the daughter of Ra. She was standing on the prow of the boat, and she invites a snake called the Desert Protector to unlock the gate for the arrival of Ra, who is in the form of Antun. And from this stance, he observes his enemies being massacred. In the second gate, the guardian god is called the Swallower of Sins, and his gate precedes a lake of fire. The third gate, its guardian snake, is the Stinger, while the portal itself is personified by the goddess of food. And there are jackals who watch over the lake of life. At the fourth gate, there are deities who carry ropes to measure the extensions of the netherworld field, uh, similar to how the measurement of fields were taken out for tax purposes. And in this gate, they identify the four human ethnic groups as identified by the Kemetic and later Egyptians at that time. They were depicted as the cattle of Ra, who were the Kemites themselves, and Levantians, Libyans, and Nubians, were the other ethnic groups he identified. At the fifth gate, this was the gate of the goddess who is known as the Lady of Duration, and its guardian serpent is the Flamed Eye. This access point is inhabited by the dangerous demon Apet, who is the embodiment of evil and chaos, a bitter enemy of Ra. He is called the Evil of Face, and the 20 deities who were protectors of Ra are put to the test in protecting him from the devastating power of this determined demon. The sixth gate, as Ra approaches to see seven jackal-headed poles with two enemies bound to each one, and they were waiting to be beheaded. The seventh gate is in reference to the goddess who was known as the Shining One, and beyond this there are twenty gods holding a rope ending in four rips, four falcon heads, and four human heads. At the eighth gate, this access in, is inhabited by a flaming snake who burns up the enemies of Asar. And the ninth gate, and here stands Horus and Set, standing on a hawk headed lion. At the tenth gate, Apep appears again, but this time he is chained in order to do no harm to Ra in his transit. The eleventh gate, and this gate is called Mysterious of Approaches, and is overseen by the cat-headed god. At the twelfth gate, here stands Isis and Nephthys in the form of snakes, and the journey through the gates of the afterlife is finished, and the sun rises on the world in the form of the sacred scarab, or Kepri, who is the deification of the morning sun.